I see him, him very close with Mark, but I had a person to chat with him. It's always so great, interesting. You always learn something, you know, because uh, we were talking about his old days and you know, what to think, and then he started giving tips about what to think in this race, uh, in this race car, in this race specifically. You know, what that, kind of things might he have told you, Mario? You know, like he would say, um, some things I cannot say, but uh, oh, you can say. It's, just it's pretty much a patience uh, race, you know, and focus to be fighting for a win at the end. Don't try to win the race first lap, second lap. You know, it's a long race, you have patience, and you've got to keep yourself in a position to win at the end. Do you anticipate talking to Mario before the 500 any time? Uh, you know, my first contact was here. Always say hi to someone, but we never had a person to chat. Um, but now that I'm inside a team and he's always around, and it's great. You know, he's my hero too because I always talk to someone Mario. He's a very good hero. He's known, well known worldwide. It's always great to have this experience around. And, you know, I mean, where, as you grew up, I mean, around where I live, you know, everybody knows Mario. But in Brazil, etc., does he does he remain constant? Is, is he a person that people know and you know? Well, the Andrade family is very well known in Brazil. And they used to say that the trouble guy was Mario because he won an F1 and he you know, so he's very well known for that. And one of the best American drivers ever. So people in Brazil really respect Mario. So you, you knew his name? 